listen to this. Eight signs that you're in a relationship or you may be talking to a highly intelligent man. Eight signs. Number one, his mind has to be enticed. He really enjoys highly deep, intense conversations. Conversations without value adds no value to him. So therefore, he's mindful of his conversations because he wants to always be mentally stimulated more than physically stimulated. Num number two, he enjoys learning. So he will value your opinion and your perspective. Very intelligent men always want to hear your opinion and your perspective because you may say something that they didn't think. So therefore, in order to learn, one must be open-minded. Very intelligent men are very, very open-minded. A closed-minded man, men are usually very immature, but highly intelligent men tend to want to hear other people's perspectives and opinions. Number three, he has a thirst for knowledge. To him, is it very infectious? So in order for this man to to, under, to 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 grow, he has to learn. He wants to learn. He's constantly open-minded. He wants to learn and grow. So he's always learning new things, whether a language, reading books, or ultimately engaging in conversations that are very meaningful. Number four, intelligent men are very one step ahead of everything. They're constantly thinking forward, opposed to behind or backwards. They'll think 10 years out, 20 years out. Intelligent men always plan out their lives. They don't just wing it. They don't live. They just plan everything out because we don't like to get caught off guard. So therefore, we tend to do things that make sense before it makes sense. Number five, being self-aware so you can always evolve. Evolution is mandatory. If someone isn't ele elevating or evolving, therefore, they'll stay stagnated or won't grow. If you want to grow, you have to constantly evolve. And evolving requires you to come out of your comfort. Intelligent men will make themselves very uncomfortable so they can evolve even more. Number six, in order to enjoy the great things, you have to enjoy the simple things. It's the simple things in life that a lot of people overlook that intelligent people don't. Intelligent people tend to value the little things because it's the little things that really mean a lot. Little gestures, little things that really ultimately open up minds for greatness. Number seven, everyone that comes around intelligent people, they'll challenge you to the, the best version of yourselves. See, intelligent people always want you to think more. They want you to grow, expand. So they will always challenge your comfort and your safety. Why? In a, in a healthy way, though. Notice I said the term healthy way. They'll challenge you because sometimes your perspective might be off. So they're like, wait, what about this? Or what about that? Or, you know, so sometimes we play the devil's advocate game where we ask questions that we just want to see if you can open your mind to different perspectives. So intelligent men will always challenge you for the in the best way possible. Number eight, drum roll, please. Intelligent men love to go into rooms that they're not the smartest in because this is where they get their rush. Intelligent people love to be in rooms where the room is very intelligent, ultimately engaging in things that they, for, for, for growth, right? Intelligent people like, uh, uh, things that are just more than just about sex. For instance, you can meet a very attractive woman an intelligent man looks past uh, physical pre uh, appearance and ultimately want the mental stimulation. Mental stimulation to an intelligent man is more enticing than physical because again, lust is lust, but an, arou an erection or arousal from a mental stimulation stays way longer and it's more satisfying to an intelligent man. Mm. Don't let that go for your head.